Uh, Dom, head of tonight's game, based at Bison. A tough loss last night at the Leap Centre. Uh, yeah. What were your thoughts on last night's performance? I, I, I just think we didn't perform well in the first 40 minutes. It got better in the third period, but it was too late. We just got to start start the game today as we finished the game last night. Lastly, the Bison this year is a team that we've had a good record against so yeah. far. Big win here earlier in the year. Two wins in Basis Oak as well. Yeah. What do you look for tonight? Well, we, we just got to play our game and play to our strengths, which is hard hard work and put the bugs on net and try to get some goals from in front of the net. Also, it's been a few weeks since you come back from your suspension. Um, you also had a lot of time to watch the guys from off the ice and see what you wanted to implement in your style as a coach. How has it gone since you returned? I, th I think guys bought into the whatever I told them and I think they're doing a good job. We just got to be more consistent in doing the things right. And when we do it, we can beat anyone in this league. Absolutely. Tom, have a good game. See you later. Yeah, thank you. Sanford blows a tire, trying to chase him. Webb with it, off the boards, sets Lindgren on his way. Another shorthand chance potentially for the Bees. Lindgren, toe drag, swag, and then to the top corner from Juha Lindgren. The Bees bounce first, 3.05 on the clock. Juha Lindgren shorthanded. It starts from behind the net. Webb plays it off the boards in front of the Bees bench. Yuha Lindgren skates his defenseman. Toe drag and top cheese for Lindgren's 17th of the year. Big hit on Josh Kelly there by Stuart Mogg. Balaz collects on the left hand flank. Cross ice finds Luele. Back to Milton in freedom of the high slot, and that's easy as you like for Zach Milton. Instant reply from the Bison. 4 11 gone, game on again, 1 all. The Bees just could not clear the zone. Luele collects, finds Zach Milton with just the freedom of the slot, and he roofs it over Adam Goss and collects his 17th of the year. Well, he flips it towards goal, Ballas as well to jump out the sky, catch it, drops it right next to the net. Luckily for the Bees, can't get it in. Shot from Walcombe, that takes a fun bounce and it's gone in! Well, they go from Carnage at one end to Carnage at the other. Brendan Walcombe for a second for the Bees tonight, 13.54. Just as Marcel Ballas almost tipped one in, Michael Jordan-esque, Brendan Walcombe Steps into the zone, fires a hopeful one, and it just trickles under Lorde's leg and over the line. Fun's going around to Galazzi. Attempts to pass the goodbye, gets tipped. Bison will come on the rush. And that is easy as you like for Marcel Balaz. The two imports combine. Balaz finds Luele, Luele's snapshot is saved, but a wide open goal for Marcel Balaz, short hander, 18-38. He was tipped from Balaz there on the right hand side, finds Luele, his snapshot is well saved by Goss, the rebound ends up perfectly on the slow back stick, and he taps into the wide empty cage to tie this game up again at two all. Cliff does, finds a man. Willstead collects, leaves it for Pitchley. Pitchley winds up, that comes off the shoulder of Lorde. Good shot, back to Harvey Stead. Final minute of the first period, shot towards goal. Goes straight through everyone and in! The Bees retake the lead on the power play. I think it's Harvey Stead, we'll find out in a second. 19.03. It comes to Harvey Stead, they're up on the blue line. Shot towards goal, it looks like it may have taken a tip off JJ Pitchley in front. Through traffic, a couple of deflections, it's through Lord. Gail Luele goes to the box. James Galazzi and Marcel Balaz have a few words. And that man advantage that the bees are about to have may have just been wiped out. And here we go. Exchanging pleasantries below us.
Lots of players wanting to know how their gloves smell. Willstead and Marcus Mitchell there. Mitchell looks like he's lost his bucket. A linesman's been taken down. I'm oh, sorry, Justin Alonda's rugby tackled Gail Luele. Co producer Annika, I do apologise. I'm probably not going to be able to keep up with this one. 19 <laughs> 16 on the clock. Luele hooking was definitely the first one there. <laughs> so it was going to be a B's power play. Now, I'm not so confident. James Galazzi was definitely called for a penalty there for a punch on Marcel Balaz, which knocked him to his bottom. We will wait and see what comes of it. If you didn't know it's a local derby still, now you know. That one is Bradley, I should say. Balaz sets Milton away. Milton looking for an option. Goes for the shot. That's off the post and in this time. The Bison tied up. Zach Milton with his second of the night at 27-20. The pressure had been building. The turnover happens on the blue line. Milton steps in. Just keeps stretching the defenseman out to the side. Finds a shot and goes posting in on Adam Goss. As the Bison tie it back up at three. Lydiard is there first. He backhands it out of the zone. Goodbye. Wheels. Away from Samford. Goodbye. Drops it off for Walkham. Walkham shot. Make the bottle pop. Brendan Walkham is second of the night. 32 0 on. The Bees go back in front for the fourth time this evening. Goodbye, wheels into the zone just off camera, drops it off to Walkham, and it's blocker high on Lorde for his second of the night. He's now up to 33. King sets Morris on his way, stops, drops, finds Luele eventually, tip over in front, that is brilliant from the Bison. It's a well-worked power play goal, you can't give them that many in a row. It's 4 all, 37-07. It's good work from Morris. He stops, leaves it for the onrushing forward, finds Luele, tick, tack, toe, as quick as it's on a stick, it's away. And it's back on Zach Milton's stick. He can edge first on a loose puck. Norcliffe again. Into the zone, away from one, leaves it for Sanford. Sanford winds up, fires, and that's gone in as well. The Bison take the lead for the first time tonight, 39-29. It's been all for the men in white in the last five minutes. Norcliffe steps into the zone, leaves it for Sanford. Norcliffe then becomes the screen on Goss as it rattles past him. Glove high into that top right-hand corner. Less... And you do clear up the length of the ice. Bounces to Goss. And he leaves it for Mol. Then announces hooking. It was definitely high sticks. And that is a turnover to George Norcliffe. And easy as you like. The Bison extend their lead off a turnover behind the goal. And George Norcliffe gets an easy one. 42-51. It's good work from Marcel Balaz against two Bs. And George Norcliffe, wide open, quickly dispatches it past Adam Goss. There's the hit off the puck. Balaz, Norcliffe, acres of space. And a second shorthander of the night. Good shot now. Into the zone. Walken. Deeks Lorde out and scores! Straight at the other end. Brendan Walken completes his hat trick. And goal number 34 on the year. 41-57, there's a hat on the ice. He can't stop scoring right now. Straight off the draw, good child into the zone. Brendan Walkham deeks Jordan Lorde out of his pants. Walkham, 49 points now. Lorde blocker down, keeps it out. Puck loose in front, Moore can't keep it in the zone, Bison can break again. Shot in front of the net. That's another loose putt rebound. George Norcliffe did brilliantly well to bring it into the zone. Backhands it on goal. 
Goss as well on the first one, doesn't control the rebound, and it's easy as you like for Alex Samford, it's 7-5. Norcliffe between two, fires the one shot, it comes loose in front, and Alex Samford, despite the despairing dive of Sebastian Moore, slots it in to restore the two goal lead. 40 for Mog, Jackson. Walkham tips it on. Goodbye again. Goodbye, round the back, and it goes to the wraparound for in front. And that's in front to Brendan Walkham, who gets his fourth of the night. This is insane now. 47 07. It's 6 7. It's good work from the coach. He goes round the back of the net, draws the D out position. And it's another great finish for Brendan Walkham's 50th point of the year. Shot for traffic, finds the divine front. Lorde does brilliantly well to get back and save that. Puck finds away, all the way back up to Will Stead. Stead away from the Welle, backhanded towards goal, blocked. Still with it in front of the net, that's gone in! The Bees have tied it up! I don't want to guess it, but it might be a case of it's that man again. 50-15, it's seven all. The shot from Will Stead in front is blocked by Kelly. It comes loose and it looks like it might be Dom Gabay who gets on the board here. The sea of bodies and the... Luele gives chase. Willstead does well to get it away from him. Willstead up the left hand side. Balaz poke checks it away from him. Balaz dumps it in. Luele first to it. Good child. Tries to score away. Good child in front of the net, and that's gone in! Marcel Balaz may have just got the dagger with 47 seconds to go. Luele held good child off, found Balaz. The shot is through Adam Goss and just crosses the line for the Bison's eighth of the night. You'll see Luele zip through the screen there. He holds Goodchild off, finds Balaz, tipped on goal. Goss does really well to make the initial save, but it just bounces into the net. And over the line by our very own material girl from both these teams, Dan Weller Evans. And Zach Milton takes the man in the match for the Bison tonight. Three goals for him. At big moments as well. Who doesn't love Dwee? He looks so awkward, it's brilliant. <laughs> How could you not love that shot right there? Zach Milton takes them out of the match beers for the Bison. He wins an empty box. Don't worry, the beers are in the changing room as the Bison go for their lap of honour. To the travelling support who have joined them tonight. A full block. And also Brendan Walken. You think it's Brendan Walken. And it goes to... What a surprise, it's Brendan Holcomb. Four goals on the night. Now up to 50 points on the year, the first piece forward to 50 points. Rattling up five goals on the weekend, he got one last night at the league centre. Brendan Walker's giving away the last mystery puck for Pride Week. If I'd have known there was one going spare, I'd have bought it. Harvey, uh, an 8-7 defeat here tonight in the local derby. It's a tough one to take. Give us your thoughts. Yeah, uh, tough to lose it right at the end there. Obviously, uh, with less than a minute to go. Um, didn't really kind of help ourselves. I feel like we you know, really beat ourselves in that game rather than uh, Baze and Stoke you know, beating us. Um, but as I said, yeah, tough to lose it with, with you know, 45 seconds to go, I think. So, yeah. Obviously, positives from the night would have to be the way the team fought back, particularly in that third period, going down, 
quite early two goals to come back as well as they did. Yeah, definitely a, a positive to get back in it and obviously, you know, score seven goals. There's pro probably not going to be many games where we get that many, but obviously, you know, we want to look at the flip side and say, obviously, we can see the late goals as well. So, you know, we're a team that has to focus on defence rather than perhaps offence and, you know, let things come and keep it simple. And, and tonight we didn't do that. We got away, but you're right, positive that we come back and in the third period and, you know, finish strong for perhaps 19 of the tournaments. Obviously, say a, a difficult night. How important is it to get tonight just gone, forgotten about, and move on to next week on the Raiders? Yeah, I mean, I think the boys said there was what 16 games left in the season, so you know we really need to you know push and kick on. And I, I don't know if we're nine or eleven points out of the playoff spot at the moment, but yeah, forget about tonight. It's done. Move on to Tuesday. You know, work on the things, watch the goals back, and, and see where we can improve. Harvey, thanks for taking the time. No